Hello, we are going to do a really lovely quick ultimate class today. So you might have done my ultimate series in the virtual studio. There's seven routines in that series. So maybe you want to give this one a go and then go for the full series. But this is like a kind of short version of that. So let's get started. Let's go for it. Keep our Pilates mind, but have a really great Pilates ultimate workout. So coming onto your all fours, just make sure you're taking care of yourself throughout the class and staying hydrated. Um, so let's just come hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, we're on our mat. We'll just take a little cat and cow just to get moving through our spine. So just a nice short little warm up. Just checking in with the back, lifting your chest, arching from the tailbone to the head. So breathe out, press into the shins, round your back. And breathe in as you open your chest, your throat, shoulders draw away from the ears. And just keep moving here, really spread your hands, even try and spread your toes. Gazing up as you arch and inhale. Good, finding a lovely neutral spine, tucking your toes under, careful not to lock your elbows. Breathe in as you exhale, imagine you're squeezing something between your knees as you find a hover, and inhale, lower the knees down. So we're trying to keep that lovely straight back, we hover and we lower. Lovely, not too high, and lower. Try and keep the head lifted in line with the spine, looking just in front of those hands. Breathing out to lift, breathing into lower. Holding this next one, stepping right leg back to a plank position, front support, left leg back, right knee in, left knee in, lower the knees. Good, we hover. So we're adding on those step backs. Try not to lower those knees too soon. I'm gonna come a bit forwards on my mat. So a little hover, step back, step back, and come in and in. Good, so if you don't want to add the step backs yet, you can just take one leg at a time or just continue with the hovers or you're adding on. So I can really start to feel this in my upper body, my arms. But I'm going to concentrate on that center as well. Trying not to drop that head so we really work those lovely neck extensors. Good, lead in with a different leg every time. Should we try two more? Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Keep spreading those hands down, last one. And we're gonna take it in, and we're gonna hold this hover just for five, little lifts and up and down. Four, three, with those knees, two and one lift the hips all the way up and back and find yourself in this downward facing dog position try and feel that length from the tailbone to the head so you're really extending the hips up gorgeous and then we're going to come back forwards into our front support so make your way down with the hips find in that plank position we're going to take a nice mountain climber here so nice and slow right knee in you're not putting the knee down this time Good, so you're just gonna alternate those knees coming in. I can really feel those arms and shoulders as well as the lower abs, work the legs. Let's go eight, seven, you can do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring the knees down. Good, take a very quick child's pose, just resting off those arms. Breathing in, breathing out. Gorgeous. And then we're just going to come forwards. I'm just going to be in this little bit. And we're going to come into a kickback and then into a lovely lunge and chest opener. So a little sequence, you might want to watch it first. We're going to flex our right foot and we're going to kick that right leg back towards the wall behind us. We're going to bring that right knee forwards towards the right elbow. Step it outside of the right hand. Lift your right arm and look up to the sky. Ten on each side. Breathing out. It kicks back. Breathing in, we step forwards and open. 
So really great for those hips. Getting some lovely rotation in our back. Eight. Open and down. Take your time. Seven. Ultimate Pilates doesn't mean fast Pilates. Six. Still controlling, keeping our technique. Five. I can really feel those obliques working as that leg comes through. Four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Kick it back. Three. Inhale. Two. Last one, we hold it back. Inhale, lower the leg. Exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Pushing that heel behind you. And lift. Inhale, lower. Breathe out, lift. Inhale. Exhale, long spine. Five. Four. Three. Two. Keep those elbows soft. Last one. And draw that knee in. Good. So coming on to the other side now, that left leg is gonna reach back behind you as you breathe out. Breathing in, steps through and we open. Good, so we've really gotta control our upper body. Gorgeous, long spine. Good, and just check as well, a little, little cue, a technique tip for you guys. Just make sure that this right hip and knee are in line as well. So you're not, as you kick the leg back, you're not sort of leaning off that leg. I know this is working our whole body here. Four more. Breathing out. Three. Getting lots in to this short ultimate Pilates. Two. Work out. Last one. We're gonna hold that left leg back. We're gonna breathe into lower, breathe out to lift. I want you to push that heel as if you're reaching it through the wall, furthest away from you. Inhale and exhale. Careful not to let it go into your back. Keep that length in your spine, that control and stability. Focus on your Pilates form. Four, three, two and one and gently bring that leg in good let's take a quick shoulder stretch so bring your hands behind you reach your knuckles just down towards your floor towards your feet because we've been on those all fours and doing those planks for a while and then we're going to come around onto our backs for a nice simple glute work and bridge work and some curl ups as well so our feet are going to come down in line with our knees and our hips. Not too wide, so that tennis ball distance between. We've got that lovely neutral pelvis, taking a moment to get yourself in the middle of your mat. And we're gonna bridge the hips up. We're gonna hold at the top. Good, now option to keep the heels down or maybe lift the heels up. And we're gonna take some glute lowers and lifts. Slow pulse action. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, and just check the heels aren't rolling out. Four, three, two, and one. Lower the pelvis, reach the arms up and back behind the head, lift the chest curl forwards, same principle, little lift and lower. Ten. Nine, really small. Eight, seven, six. Try not to drop back too far. Five, four, looking just above your knees. Three, two, and one. And coming down, we're gonna repeat that section. So lifting up into your bridge position. Maybe elevating your heels. Squeezing that ball, squeezing your glutes, lower and lift, 10, 9, 8, imaginary ball I should say, 7, you're like, where's the ball come from? 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, nice and evenly, and one, hips come down, heels go down, arms come back with control, hands support your head, and we curl forwards, we stay in the curl up, and we go back an inch and up an inch, just ten, the pelvis is level, nine, eight, seven, you're breathing, six, five, simple and effective, four, and three, and two, and one, and lower down. I feel like I just want to do one more set of each of those. Feels really good, doesn't it? So let's lift up, lift the heels, a little lift and lower, 10, nine, eight, breathe, six, five, four, squeeze, 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 three, two, and one. We lower, arms come down, heels go down, hands behind the head, lift the chest, nod the chin, little up and down here, 10, push the feet down into the floor, nine, and eight, and seven, and six, <sighs> nearly there, four, three, two, and one, and we come down. We're gonna do a little finisher, guys, so we're nearly done with this lovely, short workout we're going to come up to standing so just find yourself in a little crouch position at the front of your mat and then just roll down over your legs and slowly roll up to standing i'm going to do a little scooter action to energize us and work into the legs a little bit more and back so a little soft bend in the knees transfer all your weight onto your right foot bring your palms together lean slightly forward and take Oh, I said right foot, but I transferred onto my left foot. <laughs> so you're gonna take your opposite leg back behind you and you're gonna come in 10 times, drawing your navel towards your spine, staying nice and low. Six, five, four, navel to spine, three, two, and one. Good, standing up, coming back into it, stand onto the other leg, that left leg, step the other leg back behind you, Staying nice and balanced. Lottie, you gotta stay balanced. <laughs> Telling myself, and then bringing that left knee in and out. Eight, seven, little scooter. Six, reaching the leg behind. Five, four, three, two, and one. And standing up. One more on each side, getting nice and low. Here we go, finishing off here. Really great for your balance, control five, four, press the palms together, three, two, and one, step it in, stand all the way upright, come back down into it, and we go on the other side, Ten. Nine. keep pressing the palms together, nice strong shoulders and arms, two, and one, and stand all the way up. Good work guys, just take a lovely roll down, just one roll down, just stretch your back and your hamstrings, stay nice and forwards on those feet and then come in all the way up. So we've worked from top to toe in that session and just standing nice and tall, breathing in and breathing out. Gorgeous, well done everyone. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again on the mat soon. Bye.